Now, previous winners include musicians and anthropologist Johnny Clegg, well-celebrated singer Sbongile Kumalo, uh, the progressive pianist, composer, and band leader Kyle Shepard, and uh, award-winning jazz musician Duduzo Makatini. Now, the list alone should give you an indication of the caliber of the creatives that bag these awards. Well, we're referring to the Standard Bank Young Artist Awards, and the winners for 2020 were announced earlier this week. Now, the Jazz Award went to saxophonist, composer, and band leader Sisonke Konti, while writer, director, performer, and the founder and owner of the live arts production house, Kiri Pink, uh, Nob Arts Jefferson, uh, bagged the Theatre Award, and she joins me now in studio to tell us more about it. Jefferson, a very good morning and a warm welcome. Thank you so much. And I take it, congratulations are in order. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does it mean to you to, um, for you to be named the Standard Bank Young Artist of the Year? And I mean, as you heard it yourself, when you were mentioning those names, mm -hmm. to now join that canon is absolutely amazing. So they have Kulu to be part of that illustrious alumni. And uh, no prizes for guessing that uh, this has uh, exerted enormous pressure on you to start working even harder. I mean, you are, you're, I'm sure you're eyeing for next year's award, aren't you? <laughs> so, I mean, what the award comes with is a commissioned work for the main festival at uh, next year's Makanda Festival, the National Arts Festival. And I'm just really looking forward to to advancing the work I've already been doing because yeah. this award comes after a long time of mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about what more can be done and what this platform can produce. You know, Jeff, what is it about storytelling that appeals to you and is as closest to your heart? Mm -hmm. And we are, we are blessed with so many amazing and visceral stories. Um, and, and one of the things that works for me and one of the things that I realize is a privilege for me is that we get to share our story with other South Africans. Yeah. And we get to share our story with the rest of the world. So to be working in the realm of live performance in South Africa because it's one of the most one of the most cultivated regions in terms of content. And Yeah, and speaking of content, have you started uh, toying around the idea of uh, what you'll be delivering for next year's National Arts Absolutely, Festival? absolutely. So Tina, we won the award for theater, but Tina's doing a sketch. Okay. Uh, in the it's called Sketching Hard. And, and that kind of work is the kind of work, for instance, we have in this, in this book, Congo Lose. The work we're doing is really about finding a new heightened text for black performers and black audiences. Mm. And, and I'm already thinking about taking the kind of work that will resonate not only with the global audiences, but Habantu Basema Kanda. And the people that like, look like me, people who sound like me, the people who actually make up the large majority of this country. True. And we want to say, in the theater, your voice is as valid and as relevant. Mm. You know, Jeff, have you ever uh, thought or has it ever occurred to you at some point that you're feeling inadequate and you're feeling that uh, you're not doing hard enough, uh, you know, and uh, pushing yourself to the limit? If you are working in the realm of ind independent theater producing, there's always going to be doubts. There's always going to be tough days. And particularly if you are a producing artist who's not only looking to be employed, if you're running a business, if you're an entrepreneur, there's always going to be moments I know, right? yeah. you also have to be cognizant of the milestones. Mm -hmm. You also have to be cognizant of all the victories and the company you keep and the people that are around you. And then that's the work that will spur you on forward. True. By the time the accolades come, you must have already acknowledged yourself. Yeah. yeah. Why was it important uh, for you to create your own style of theater, pretty much different from the traditional way of uh, telling stories? Because we are different now. We're dealing with a new generation of people. Redesse, reono, remostofong these days. Like, we are the pots. Um, there's, a, there's a new kind of literature that people are making. There's, uh, you go on social media, we're consuming content differently. And I, I feel as though the theater we make must be up to date with the people that it's making the theater for. So we, we cannot always rely on the archaic methods. We are in a new time and we are dealing with a new audience. You're competing with their Instagram, you're competing with their Facebook. So how are you incorporating the things that they know now into the theater that they're coming to see now? Mm -hmm. And as a theater maker of this time, how are you utilizing Ezindo that you think you're competing with to make sure that you penetrate that current audience? And how do you appeal to that particular audience? I mean, you mentioned the new generation audience uh, uh, who are mostly on Instagram or on any other social media platforms. It's about giving them the content that they care about. It's about listening to your audience and not just dictating the content you want to push forth. It's about absolute research about Nima Melandoni, 
niyapi what are your times do these theater times work for you what do these rates work for you does giving you this version work for you do you want a small bite size one are you still interested in the full length what is black height and text so you have to answer all those questions critically so that you can then bring forth something that the audience can go actually i resonate with that yeah. or i'm not too sure but i don't know the answer but namda funui bona or i'm curious about it mm -hmm. and you must appeal to those people at their level i mean how do you answer those questions that have just told in the context of a theater uh, and in an era where you know i'd say people's cultural association is diminishing umna ndi bona ngathi lonto leyo we answer it strictly by testing the work so we can talk about produce you can talk about write but like the most important thing is to actually go to where the people are and test the work perform it in the townships perform it in the halls go to the TX theater in Tembisa go to Makukanye go to Kasi RC go to all the township theaters and say is this material working mm. and then take the resin this is that you take to Kipis go to pop art go everywhere and test the work over and over the audience will tell you if it's not landing the audience will tell you and i guess that's the basis of my challenge that i'm throwing to you Let's go out it. there go out there and uh, i want to see you right here next year having begged yet another award ah yeah bona ke e challenge is in jalo says vuma says tata kwaya says bulela kakhulu all right go for it man thank you so much for the time thank you so much i appreciate it well, that was uh, Jeff Fasin Shabalala. Well, he just spoke to us uh, about, uh, you know, being the uh, winner of the Standard Bank Young Artist of the Year Award. Well, this is Morning Live. We'll be right back.